goodwill calculation through capitalization of average profits stroke super profits now what happens is that you know we have the net assets of a company right this net asset basically represents the value of the assets of the company minus the value of the liabilities of the company right and when i say value i mean the current value right this means that basically if i were to just value them on an independent basis what is the net asset value that i have right <coughs> Now what happens is based on these net assets the company earns some profits also known as the average profits these are basically nothing but the actual profits which a company earns right now depending on how you are using the assets of the business these profits can be either more or less than the normal profits normal profits earned by a company so let's say if you are engaged into manufacturing of xyz commodity okay a normal company in that range will earn 10% return right so we say what are the actual profits earned by the company right based on these actual profits okay let's say you were investing 100 you were expected to earn 10% so let's say 10 rupees but you actually earned rupees 50 right so if i were to say that you know by investing 100 i was supposed to earn 10 now if i am earning 50 what would should be the value of these investment so i capitalize these profits or the average profits by normal rate of return which is this which gives me 500 so effectively in order to earn 50 rupees of profits my asset should be not 100 but 500 but if i see actually my asset which are there in the books are sitting at 100 so we assume that the difference of the profit or these profits which are earned in extra are owing to the fact that the asset which should have been vis-a-vis -vis asset which are there the difference is nothing but the goodwill right now just to cut this a little short what i mean is that goodwill is to be calculated now if i have to mathematically put it what is the value of the goodwill i capitalize my average profits okay how do i capitalize them i take the average profits and divide them by the normal rate of return right once i have got this capitalized value then i compare this with what actually is the asset employed in the business right and the difference between the two is actually goodwill the only difference in the super profit method is that instead of taking the average profits okay you consider super profits the only difference in the super profit method is that instead of average profits you consider super profits okay you ca capitalize the super profits in the same manner super profits divided by the normal rate of return into 100 okay again you, here also you can multiply this by 100 right and this gives you the value of goodwill in this case you do not need to reduce any kind of net assets because what you are capitalizing is actually the excess profit that you are earning right so we'll take up some questions on this aspect in the videos to come you can visit us at www.iadbook.com for many more such videos thank you for being with us today